scared. My heart is, it's okay, Charlie. I'm not angry with you. I'm just, my heart is in my mouth, so to speak. You know what, Charlie? We have had so many emotions. First I was happy, content, plain. Then you scared me. And then you were laughing. You were so happy. And then you were upset because you thought I was angry. You know what, Charlie? It's really good to have emotions like you and me. It's good to be like you and me and show some emotion. But when I don't know how I feel, I sometimes get confused. When I'm happy, when I'm happy, I sing. Cha -la 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 -la, la -la. When I'm sad, I cry. Boo -hoo. short time don't they a very small time but you know what Charlie God is such a good God he really cares about you why don't we sing about how good God is
verses in the Bible, Charlie, says that he'll always be there for us. But you know what he suggests to do? It's Jeremiah 29, 11. He says the things he's got for you are good. To give you a hope and a future, Charlie, isn't that great? But he does say just to pray to him, Charlie. So prayer is such a good thing to do. Don't you remember doing prayer? What's another thing we can do, Charlie? <gasps> do you remember? Put on the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. And you know what, Charlie? Being scared is such a heavy feeling, isn't it? Yes. So why don't we try that? Why don't we put on the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness? I'll take the Bible. You get ready to dance. <laughs> ready, Mr. Music? Oh, I'm going to get my ribbons. Come on, girls and boys. Ready to get your ribbons? Okay, Charlie. Here we go. I made you a little friend puppet that you can talk to. And he's so soft. You can pat him and feel him. Oh. And you can talk to him about how you feel. But it's much better to go and speak to an adult. Or someone like <laughs> Oh, Charlie. Or someone like me. Well, I'm an adult. So you can come and talk to me and tell me. And then I can do something about it, hey, Charlie? But you know what? Maybe the girls and boys can make one at home. Or maybe we can make your sock puppet a friend. What do you think? I'm just going to show you what to do. All you need is a couple of googly eyes and some socks. But you might need to get your mum and dad to help you because this is very special. Do you want some big eyes, Charlie? Big, big eyes? Yes, big eyes like yours. Okay, let's get two big eyes. I can find a little eye. 
Here we go. Now I've got two big ones. And it's good to put a bit of plastic in there, Charlie, to stop the glue from going through. Okay? So all you have to do is get your mums and dads to get the glue. You could do it. Okay. Oh, it's time to pray, is it, Charlie? Well, why don't I show the girls and boys? You glue the eyes on. And then I thought this time we might be able to get some... Would you like a hairy head? Okay. Put that on. I'm not going to show them how to glue because it'll take too much time. And then you'll have a, another puppet friend to talk to. But it needs to dry. So make sure you get your mums and dads to help you to make a puppet. Very, very simple. And make sure you ask them, can you have some socks? Because these are nice, fluffy socks. Aren't they beautiful? Okay. But I think it, now it's time to go, Charlie. We've got to pray. Okay. And you've got to pray. You want to keep the sock puppet? You can keep that. That's your friend. So, dear Heavenly Father, thank you for looking after us. Thank you that you care about us all the time. And thank you, Lord, that you're never asleep. You're always there. And Lord Jesus, you have good plans to give us a hope and a future. Amen. Okay, Charlie, say goodbye to the girls and boys. Bye. 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 Well, mums and dads, I hope you enjoyed this again. And um, just wanted to talk about fear. And there's an acronym, false expectations appearing real. Now, in this season, there's been a lot of fear and people struggling with fear. But once again, I want to encourage you, if you're fearful, to go and talk to someone about it and get some counsel. And I also think it's important, um, you know, I had a season where um, I nearly lost someone dear to me. And I couldn't have gone through that season without a lovely Heavenly Father looking after me knowing that the plans he has for me is for good and a future. And that's in Jeremiah 29, 11 in the word of God. But it says to pray to him and to call upon him and he will answer you. So I just wanted to encourage you, if you're feeling fear, the Lord is there for you. He, as we say to the children, he never goes to sleep and he wants to hear from you. So look, I just want to encourage you to do that. And if uh, you've got any prayer points or anything, you can send us a, an email. We'd be happy to lift you up in prayer. Or if you've got some concerns, there's plenty of help. You can ring um, Beyond Blue or any of the counselling services available or go to your doctor and get a health plan. So don't be a lonely person. Don't be afraid. And know that God cares about you. And he's got it. God bless. Bye-bye.